I may back off and say, hey, uh, the worst is over and the governments have, have invented a okay. magic wand. I do not expect that to happen. I think this is going to be the worst year for stocks since 1931. First quarter GDP is looking like a half a percent. Earnings have been falling for the last three quarters and predicted to fall further. There is nowhere to hide. Look back at 2008. The highest quality treasury bonds, the U.S. dollar, everything else went down. This is going to happen. I would say the market is going to start heading down within the next three months. I, I will go out on a limb on that one. Okay, that was Harry Dent predicting on this show that a market crash was very close. It was coming. He kept saying that repeatedly. But recently, it did take a few steps back from those <coughs> earlier predictions. Listen to this. Are you prepared? Yeah, I'm eating, I'm eating crow. Are you prepared to admit uh, you were wrong? But, yes. But okay, I, you... I'd still see a downturn because but, the uh, economic reality is almost zero growth ahead. Well, uh, all right, Harry Dent is with us right now. Harry, welcome back. I think you're in Miami, is that correct? Yes, you are. You're in yes. Miami. Yes. And you've got a book out, The Sale of a Lifetime. Right, why don't you just straighten this out? Where will we be, and I'll just give you a date, July the 1st, 2017. Where will we be? I think, Stuart, I think we are. This rally is real. It was a technical breakout, what I call a, a fifth wave or, or a blow-off rally, so it should go substantially farther. As I said last time I was on your show, I'm expecting in July, around July, is where I think we could have a top if we start to see some divergences. And I think the Dow will be at about 22,000, maybe a little higher, the S&P 500, 2,500. But what happens if that is a fifth wave kind of peak like this that I've been looking for for a long time, the first wave down in most bubble burst in history, 29, 1990 for the Nikkei, the tech wreck, and recently China in 2015, the first move down is 40 to 45 percent in two and a half to three months. So I mean, I, right now, I'm taking off the warnings, this rally looks real. There's confidence that Trump's going to be able to turn around the economy. I don't believe that past the point, but, but that okay. is what the market thinks. And so we're heading up uh, for the first half this year. I think there's a high chance that we'll okay, finally so see bonds done, diverge and you, yields, yields go down and, and stocks go down. So what you've done is you've postponed the catastrophe. I mean, by yeah. the middle of this year. Yeah, I mean, it's still a bubble. I mean, this is a bubble. Okay, okay. I will stand on that. I've studied bubbles more than anybody. But, hey, bubbles can go and go, especially when governments are supporting, and especially you get a guy, Trump walks in and says, I'm just going to create 4% well, growth. Are you okay, actively well, actively telling your people, buy now and cash in on the last legs of this rally? and then sell by the middle of the year. I mean, are you telling people to do that? Buy now. Well, no, that, that, that's not what we do, Stuart. We, we have a number of investment services with our newsletter that can play both ways. Look, we're saying this is a bubble. You, you can't just buy and hold when you're in a bubble market like 1929 or, or, or something like that. So I'm like, our newsletter portfolio made, made 15% in 2016 while we were saying, hey, the markets look like they're going to top. Well, we don't act until we see that. And we were short bonds, which was a good move. We were short the yen and we were short gold. So, so we play short and long, but we're not, we're not going to tell people to jump in for a six-month move, okay. like full bore into stock. But so they can. So let's be clear. The bubble starts to burst in the middle of the year, and we head down by 40%. Harry Dent, thanks for well, well, that. Yeah, that, I think that's a likely scenario. Okay. We have to see how this shapes up. I'll have to see divergences because, you know, you should see divergences, which we we're starting to see in 2015 and 16. But this Trump okay. rally broke them all. Yes, sir. Harry Dent, thanks for joining us. You'll come back soon, I trust. Thank you very much, Harry.